Okay, I just farted and I'm ready to go. Her. Hey everybody, it's Will. Welcome to another episode of Vital Appreciation Society House Calls. <laughs> We're back with Jack. We're very excited. So, apparently, so he was just telling me he bought this record at Fuck Station. Is that right? I bought this record for three dollars at Fuck Station. Fuck Station is a great place to pick stuff up. So, um, I mean, it's fucking Prince. It's 1999. We were just listening to International Lover, right? Which I, is that your favorite Prince song? You were saying it's one of them. It's definitely like this album's great, like top to bottom. But like. <laughs> This is a very Prince thing to say. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> ah! Top to bottom. Top to bottom. Ow! But, ah! I mean, I love International Lover is just great because it's a whole, it's like a whole song about trying to seduce a woman by telling her that you have a private plane parked right outside. Private plane's right yeah. outside, baby. And that you're gonna, like, do her on your private plane. Oh, yeah. It's pretty. Elon well, I mean, what Musk. else do you do with a, someone that you invite on your private plane? Right. There, are, I mean, there's only so many things that you would want to bring someone on your private plane for. I know. I don't even know if I would want a private plane, honestly. It's a lot of gas. It's a lot of gas. It's a lot of it's work. Like not environmentally very. It sound. seems more fun, like trying to fuck in like a like a seven forty sevens like bathroom. Like, but doesn't he do say that? it's a does he say it's a seven forty seven on this? Oh, but I see what you're saying, like a crowded plane. Yeah. Oh, it was like, more of a challenge. This seems like more of a challenge. Although I would say that if if the if all the stories that I've heard about Led Zeppelin's private plane are true, I wouldn't mind having Led Zeppelin's plane. That's true. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. But just like a random private, can you imagine? Yeah. Can you imagine being the cleaning crew on Led Zeppelin's private plane? I hope they're getting paid very well. <laughs> ah! Or they're just degenerates who like. Crawling just, on all floors and start licking, licking and start licking, up everywhere. licking yeah. everything up. Just fucking gross ass motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, daddy. So, um, we're, so you got, you got this at Fox Station. Yeah, so I got this at Fox Station Records for $3. In LA um, or Kansas City? In or? Kansas City. Nice. It's, uh, it was the third record store that opened up on my block in like the final year that I lived there. Okay. And, I would go on down to Fuck Station every Saturday morning before I had to go to work. Fill up the tank. See what kind of new shit we got there. And found nineteen ninety nine for three bucks. You can't go wrong with that. I know. And it's not a bad copy. It's like really interesting how like some record stores would probably try to charge you like twenty dollars for oh, this yeah. and then you could find it somewhere else for like five dollars. It's yeah. a great copy. And like one of the before Prince died. Is the record in there? Should we have a camera? Oh yeah. Well one of the two. Let's see. It's a double album. It's a double LP. But like one of the things that's a testament to Prince and his like legal team was that I think I was I was still in grad school and I was playing this on LP and I like took a video of it spinning on the record. And the next day I got a message from Instagram saying that they removed the video due to copyright infringement. And Prince's team had like found it out and like deleted the photo. It was crazy. I've I've sometimes listened to I mean not to only try to talk about Led Zeppelin, but um, I listen to these like Led Zeppelin bootleg channels on YouTube, and most of them, even though like that it's so it's because it's bootleg recording, it's a lot harder for like this software to identify that it's like a Led Zeppelin song. But Led Zeppelin's people are so aggressive about finding this stuff and taking it down that they take Stairway to Heaven out of the recordings because that's the one that always gets recognized. So they'll be like, you know, here's a new recording of Zeppelin playing wherever, like 1975. And they'll take it. And Stairway to Heaven is on the set list, but they remove it. Damn. That's interesting that that they, because I know that if you you directly upload like a video that you ripped from YouTube or something, Onto Instagram, right. they'll have you take the music off. But I see a lot of vinyl accounts that do. This was just like me taking my phone over. The yeah, I see player. like vinyl accounts because it, that do like that, it yeah. looks really cool because when it's spinning, it's just a fucking eyeball like going in. Like it's great. It's brilliant design. It's fun. It's the all-seeing eye of Sauron <laughs> or Prince Ron. Right. Have you ever been to? Uh, he's from Minneapolis. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, I've never been there. Have you? Oh yeah, my uh, 
My dad's side of the family is all from there. What? Yeah. Their well, last name is Gustafson. So like, is that where the Swedes went? Yeah, that's where all the Swedes went in like the early twentieth century. Are um, is everything purple there? Yes. Is that where he gets it from? He made everything like a little bit queer and a little bit sexy. It's great. It's uh, as Chris Rock says, Prince and Kirby Puckett, right? <laughs> <laughs> Kirby Puckett is like the opposite of Prince. <laughs> Is he, is, this, is he the one who has, or Cecil Fielder has a son who's a really good baseball player, right? Prince Fielder? I know that. Yeah. Yeah, what, Prince, what are, yeah. How yeah, does Prince this keep happening? <laughs> I like that your, your, your sports <laughs> insights, and I'm like, yeah, Prince Fielder is like really old now. <laughs> no, he's like, not, wait, Yeah, he? he's like about to retire. Or he's thought about it. It's like your idea of like people in football. It's like Warren Moon. It's Randall Cunningham, Randall dude. Cunningham yeah, like, well, so I stopped watching <laughs> football. I mean, I, I went to college in Massachusetts, as you know, and my freshman year was the first Super Bowl the Patriots won with Tom Brady and everything. So, like, I watched a lot of those games just because they were really big at the time. But apart from that, I stopped watching football when I was, like, 10 or 11. Yeah, and I grew up outside Philadelphia, so, yeah, it's like, it really is, like, Randall Cunningham and, like, Warren Moon, and those are the people I remember, like, Joe Montana. Right? Yeah. So I'm like, how many generations removed am I from current NFL players? You're probably like three. Okay. <laughs> Donovan McNabb is another one that I remember. Yeah. For some reason, he's, he's been retired for like. Yeah, I know. Is he gone too? He's been retired for about five years now. Okay. More. Um, yeah. Barry Sanders, I remember. He's been retired for at least fifteen. Like Thirty. <laughs> Bo Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah it's bad it's really bad I should just not talk about the NFL um why are we talking about sports I don't know we're, we're talking about, about Prince we're talking about Prince tell us more about what other songs are on this album I mean we all know the big ones but oh like, man okay so it's a double album one of the songs is like nine minutes. I didn't know Prince wrote such long songs. Oh man, he wrote some long ass fucking songs. And he is a fucking shred master. Yeah, I we, love it when Prince shreds. Right, that was the most fun about Prince. Yeah, ah! dance music, sex, romance. It's like eight minute long song. It's tight as fuck. <laughs> Hell yeah, and it's funky as shit. Like, did he have his own studio? Oh, in his house, he recorded all the time. Every room was like equipped to be recorded. He just like I, I he strikes me as the kind of person who yeah he's just like in the studio like making these epic songs. Well I mean and that, he played like every instrument, didn't he? Yeah. And that like that's the big thing about after his death because it's like nobody saw it coming and like the whole legal fight among everything is there are So like entire albums were there were like that's never been released or like Yeah. There are months of recordings that have never seen the light of day. I know that they. I saw this. That the, 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 it's so. Is it like Hendrix? Where well, I know less about Prince than I know about Hendrix. But you know, Hendrix's family has like really tight control of his estate, and they release stuff like constantly. Right. Like go digging through the archives and stuff. And I know that like a, a song, a, 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 an unreleased version of a song that Prince wrote that was made famous by other people. Right. Like the Prince version had never been heard. Yeah. Came out recently. So are they, oh, like, yeah. are they gonna start doing that now? Like all these like archive releases and They're stuff? starting to like tease it out. Like uh what was the one that came out? Um Nothing compares to you. Yeah, that was the one I was thinking yeah, about. He wrote it. Yeah, and, like, of, yeah. And the video the comp like it's basically the, the studio track and they mixed it with video recordings on top of it. Mm -hmm. Um it's amazing. It's Closer to what the only Prince recording that was nothing that compares to you was a live, a live yeah. version, and it wasn't as good. Um, I heard that he was he didn't want to release that himself because he he felt it would be dishonest because he didn't have like a domestic situation like that. Obviously, because he had his plane parked right outside, right. just waiting for the honeys. <laughs> <laughs> No, but he, I mean, he wrote songs for Sinead O'Connor, of course, like, that's the, the big one, but he also wrote songs for, uh, oh, fuck, Fleetwood Mac, and, like... Did he really? I didn't know that. I he, knew that, he, I, I, I only learned recently that he was, like, a big songwriter that other people covered. Yeah. 
I mean, that's why he's like, as far as a pop musician goes, there are a few people I would say are like geniuses. I think Prince was a genius. Quincy Jones. Oh yeah, I mean Quincy Jones is definitely a genius. That fucking Quincy Jones interview. Um, did you read that? Oh yeah, when GQ. As yeah, it was so started, good. Was it Vol- I thought it was, was it Vulture. Was it GQ? I honestly don't remember. I think it was GQ. But it's like the greatest thing I've ever read in my life. Oh man, it's so much fun. Like, and we'll put a link to this somewhere so you can go. I mean, if you haven't yeah. read it, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but we will put a link somewhere so you can go and read it. It's but, really the best that like. If you're interested in 1970s American, uh, it's anything, impossible to like, like even pick <laughs> read it. which like I was sending it to everyone I knew and I couldn't pick which quote to like highlight as like you have to read this because they're all so Wait. good. The whole thing about Marvin Gaye and Mar- Jack Nicholson, but then he says Kevin Gay sex. Marlon Brando and James Baldwin is another one he says and yeah. Richard Pryor, right? Marlon yeah. Brando and Richard Pryor, yeah. He says Marlon Brando's a great dancer. And then the um, when he calls the Beatles, no playing motherfuckers. <laughs> so funny. Paul McCartney's the worst bass player he I've ever heard. It so hard. It was mm. so great. Like, But the thing about it is, it's like, he's so good and he's been around for so long that he's obviously not just some idiot talking shit. Like, no, there's he's like got, so much validity he's got to what a, he's like saying. A billion and like, Grammys and a billion Grammy nominees and like Academy Award nom- like, he, like, I mean, the next record that I'm picking is a Quincy Jones record. Oh, spoiler! So should we save this for? Yeah, we should probably we should save, save this for, for our Quincy conversation. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any? Do you want to have any final thoughts on which uh, one are we talking about? Prince, Prince 1999. Um, okay, so I mean, really, just listen to like. It's you. I mean, you should. Yeah, if you're listening to records for fuck's sake, you're gonna be listening to the whole thing anyways. And if you're, but like, so you're you're going from 1999. Go to fuck station. Yeah, go to fuck station. Um, you'll probably get laid. I mean, that's what happens at fuck station. You would hope. Yeah. That the the when he played with, you remember the George Harrison thing? Was it at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Oh yeah, the uh, where they did "Oh My Guitar Gently Weeps," yeah. and it's like I, it's, I have I'm not like trying to hate on like Donnie Harrison or any of these people, but like it did like it had this feeling of like yet another performance where they trotted out all the names that you expect to be trotted out, and they're wearing their fucking tuxedos and they're just kind of playing the song, and then Prince just. Sh- Reddit that yeah. fucking soul. And Donnie Harrison was like loving it. Yeah, he just like. And I'm like, but of course you are. Because like. What? And then this is like, I don't have a problem with Tom Petty, but you know, he's just like standing there playing his guitar, like he's just doing his duty, and like Prince just comes out and fucking oh, yeah. shreds. He wouldn't ever. It was like, so good. Any video you can find of Prince on YouTube right now, and like more of them have been releasing because of all the weird copyright mm-hmm. things that are going on since he's died. At any video you find of him online, he's like, he's like the Kobe Bryant of music. If he is in a situation like that, he wants to be the best and he wants to like, he wants to show everybody that he is the best. And it's always the most fun thing to watch. <laughs> And can you blame him? I mean, that's I know. The, yeah. He really was the best. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, there you have it. It's Prince. It's a fucking classic album, 1999. Yeah, Go listen the best. to it. Go buy it. Uh, head to Fuck Station if you're in Kansas City. Yeah. It's at 39th and Fuck. 